So far, we have covered all the essential concepts for describing the UI. Components, props, JSX, conditional rendering, lists, and styling. We can build interfaces that display data. But here's the thing. Our components only show information. They don't respond when users interact with them. So let's talk about handling events. How can we make React components respond to clicks, hovers, keyboard input, and all the other ways users interact with our applications? For this example, I'll create a new file called custom button.jsx within the source folder. Here, we'll define a simple React component that displays a button. Export const custom button is equal to an arrow function. We will return the button element with the text like. I'll import and invoke this component in app.jsx. Import custom button from dot slash custom button and invoke it at the top. Save the file, check the browser, and we see our button. Right now, this button doesn't do anything when clicked. Let's fix that. Responding to events in React is a simple two-step process. First, you define a function that should be executed when the event occurs. So within the custom button component, we'll define a function called handle click. Const handle click is equal to an arrow function, and we alert the text, thanks for liking. Second, you assign the function to a special prop that starts with on. For a click event, we use on click. So on the button element, the prop is on click. It is very important to note that the prop needs to be camel cased. So uppercase the first letter of the event name. To this, we assign handle click. Now, if you go back to the browser and click the button, the handle click function will run and show the alert. Thanks for liking. We've handled our click event. Please note that in React, we typically name event handlers starting with handle followed by what they're handling. Since we're handling the click event, the function name is handle click. But you can also write this function in line with an arrow function. Let me comment out the function and write it in line. So on click is equal to an arrow function where we call alert, thanks for liking. Go back to the browser, and you can see this works too. For simple stuff, inline can be cleaner, but for anything more complex, I prefer separate functions. They're easier to read and test. I will stick to the separate function approach for now, because I need to point out something super important here. See how I wrote on click, is equal to handle click and not handle click with parentheses? This is a common mistake beginners tend to make when they're first learning React. If you write handle click with parentheses, you're calling the function immediately when the component renders. That's not what we want. We want to pass the function itself so React can call it later when the user clicks. Let me show you the difference. If I do this, so handle click with parentheses and save the file, and refresh, you can see the alert shows up immediately when the page loads and the component renders, not when you click. That's because we are calling the function right away and passing its return value, which is undefined, to on click. Without parentheses, the alert shows up only when you click. Very important to remember this. Now I showed you on click, but React supports all the events you're used to from regular JavaScript on change for inputs, on submit for forms, on mouse enter for hovering, etc. They all follow the same naming convention, camel case names starting with on. Finally, let me show you how to use the event object. Every event handler receives an event object as its first parameter. We usually call it e or event, and it contains useful information about the event itself. For example, we can log the target element, so clicked element is event.target. We can get the click coordinates, so click coordinates is event.click 
client x comma event dot client y and maybe which mouse button was used so console log which mouse button event dot button head to the browser open the devtools panel and click the like button we see the information logged in the console clicked element is the button click coordinates 423 and 40 which mouse button zero for left click now one thing that might surprise you is that event handlers have access to all the components variables and props since they are defined inside the component so we can add a variable called name const name is equal to code evolution and a prop called text the structure text we can bind this to the button text and the handler function so return instead of hard coded like as the text we will render the text prop and in the handle click function we can log to the console hey followed by dollar curly braces and the name you clicked dollar curly braces text and we don't need the event back in app.jsx we can pass the prop to the custom button component text is equal to like duplicated text is equal to bookmark save the files check the browser and we see the two buttons like and bookmark click like hey code evolution you click like click bookmark hey code evolution you click bookmark we can access local variables as well as props within our event handler now that was a lot so let me quickly summarize what we've learned handling events in react is all about passing functions to special props like on click remember to pass the function not call it so no parentheses use the event object when you need info about the event and finally event handlers have access to all the components variables and props since they're defined inside the component. Up next, we will look at a common pattern you will use when working with event handlers.